Hey guys, welcome to Riva Academy and in this tutorial we are going to look at using flare animation in your flutter application. So first we have to go to this Rivi app. Okay, it is by two dimension where you can create your flare animations. Okay, you can go to your files and create a new flare project. Okay, you have to select a flare over here and it will ask you to keep your file public or private. So I am going to keep it public for now. Okay, and when you do that, you will get a, get this artboard. Okay, you will see this artboard and its corresponding properties on the right side. Change it as per your requirements. So right now, I will keep the width as 100 and uh, height as say 150. Okay, and you can zoom and adjust this artboard okay so this is basically your working area okay you can change the name of this file say flare demo okay and over here there are various shapes okay try rectangle ellipse star and all so i am for this demo i am going to use ellipse that is the circle okay i will select e ellipse over here and i will give it position say x0 and if i give y0 it will be over here so let me bring it to the center okay so let me give as x50 and y50 okay and i will also change the height and width okay say 80 80 so this is properly circle now okay we can change the fill color okay i will keep it red and i will also give the black border okay you have to change the stroke over here to black and uh, you can also give the thickness to the border say 5 okay so this is the default uh, i have created a ball like this okay for this demo and let us make this ball bounce okay so what i will do i will go to the animate section okay and over here on the bottom left side you have to give uh, you have to specify the name of your animation okay i have given this over here bounce and you have to remember this because we are going to use this in our code okay now here you can see you can select the work area okay and you can specify the number of the seconds used in the timeline for this animation okay and you can adjust this as per your requirements okay okay then there is this loop which specifies that once the animation is over it will again start playing okay so our animation will be played in the loop okay so right now when you click the play nothing will happen because we have not specified any animation properties yet okay so let us start by doing that so what i want in this demo is that change the value of the y axis and uh, keep the value of the x axis same because as I change the value of the y axis, it will go up and down. So let us start by that. So I will go to the starting point and keep the value of the y axis as 50 only as it is. And remember to click this small diamond uh, over here and it should turn into blue color. Okay, it is very important. It means that the property is being applied to that point. Now in the timeline, I, ha uh, I have gone to this point 30 okay and over here what i will do is change the value of the y axis to 80 okay so it will come down okay and make sure that the uh, blue little diamond is activated okay now let us go to the timeline again and fix it to one second okay i will again go to the properties and make the y axis to 100 and make sure that the blue diamond is activated again okay so similarly you can specify the points in the timeline now let us play you can see this the uh, change in the y axis is being reflected as the bounce effect okay now let us 
do one more time we'll go to 1.30 and change the value of y axis to 120 okay now let us play again you can see that when the value of the y axis changes okay it gives the bouncy effect and i will also uh, make my work area to 130 okay so now we are done with this uh, for this demo okay of course you can make more animation if you want okay and remember this name bounce because it will be used in the code okay now let us export this file and save it okay flare underscore demo because we are going to need this file okay so i am saving it right now okay so now we are done with animation and let us go to the visual studio code and create a new flutter project okay i will create a new project by the name flare demo and in the default project created i will remove these comments okay and i will remove this title parameter and also these two classes so that we can start with a clean slate I will create a stateless widget by the name my home page and instead of container I will make it written as scaffold and quickly add the app bar and the title text to this app bar ok title text say flare demo ok say flare bounce and I will run this in emulator ok so now you can see that this is running in emulator ok now we have to add this dependency flare underscore flutter ok we have to add this dependency in our pubsec yml file ok we have to add this package we will go to our pubsec yml file ok and uh, copy paste this ok and hit the save and you can see that this dependency is being added in the project by flutter packages get command ok now we have to go to our project um, root folder and add a folder over here say animation and copy this flare underscore demo flare file ok and come ok now we have added this and come back to our pubsec yml ok and over here we have to add this assets ok we have to specify the path where we have added this flare underscore demo we have to specify this directory name animation ok now let us go to the main dot dat file ok and over here we will import the package say import and we will import this flare actor ok now let us go to the body and add this flare actor widget ok and over here we have to specify the name of our flare file ok so it is inside this animations and flare demo dot flr ok so now when i save and hot reload you can see that uh, this uh, you can see this our circle which we have created in flare it is there but it is not uh, animating ok so to make it animate there is one more parameter the which we need to add and that is animation ok and uh, specify the name of animation ok so here remember I told you to remember this name ok so we have to specify this over here say bounce ok so now when I save you can see that this is animating ok so now I hope you got this concept of creating your uh, flare animation and using it in our flutter but wait there is some more you can wrap this in a container or in a size box if you want and adjust its height and width ok say height 200 and width say 100 ok 
okay you can adjust like this if you want you can also wrap this in the center widget okay and use it in your project as per your requirements okay so i hope you got the concept okay this was just the basic one you can create more and more animation in this flare okay in this Revi app and use in your flutter application as per your requirements if you like this video please share it with your friends who are also learning flutter thank you so much